my friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here thank you for your love and your support but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe youtube automatically will turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first one to be notified so please do that and thank you so much for subscribing so dear friends i have been reading your comments here on youtube on the comment section and after watching an online dating success love story your comments be like god I pray to you to bring to me a right guy, a guy that will love me forever, a guy that will treat me like a princess. <laughs> and some of you write to me on Instagram, you DM me, be like, Bella, I really pray to God to bring the right guy. Or some of you come and be like, Bella, I want to be your baby. <laughs> you pay the fee, then I start guiding you. You start chatting with a guy. The first thing you do, you run to me to guide you if that guy is the one or not. But have you ever asked yourself this question? What if God answers your prayer? What if he brings that good guy that you were praying for? Do you know how to keep him? <laughs> I know some of you right now are smiling. Some are like, it's not important. As long as he is a good guy, it's going to work out. <laughs> is it? <laughs> so that takes us to our today's video. Our today's video is going to be a story time of a South African lady by the name of Konji, a single mother of one, who found love on a dating app with a guy from Germany. Yeah, a very good, good guy. They started dating, but after two years of their relationship, guys, what happened will make you feel so sorry for Kondi. But at the same time, you are going to learn a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I don't want to talk so much. Let's just jump into today's video. Grab a glass of wine, a glass of water, some popcorns, anything that will keep you company while enjoying this love story. So friends are going to forgive me due to the way I sound because I've got a bit of flu <laughs> and I almost canceled filming this video but I was like oh my god I haven't seen you for so long I miss you so much plus <laughs> you guys have been writing to me Bella where is the story time we missed the story time so that is why I decided to push on so I'm going to be beginning Condi's love story with a bit of her life background and her past love relationship experience so that we get to understand Kondi so that we get to know where Kondi came from. So dear friends, Kondi tells us was born and raised in Limpopo, South Africa, the northern part of South Africa. Studied there till high school and after finishing high school had to go to the university in Johannesburg. So while at the university, that is when Kondi met her first ever boyfriend. He was South African. They were so much in love with each other and everyone knew about them. You know, <laughs> they were a very famous couple at campus because the boyfriend was the member of the Students' Representative Council SRC. So all was going very good between them. Condi tells us, knew that that guy was going to be her future husband. So they kept on studying, but the boyfriend was one year ahead of her. So he graduated before her. And after graduating, got an internship in Mpumalang. <laughs> Let me hope I'm pronouncing well the name in another province. But they kept on communicating, though after some time, the communication between them became less and lesser. Eventually, they stopped keeping in touch. But it's not that they had broken up. <laughs> not at all. Conti in her heart still believed that the guy loved her 
and their relationship is still on. Though we all know that, or if you don't know, one thing that will tell you if your relationship, especially if you are in a long distance relationship and your communication is not all that stable, <laughs> you see the communication is becoming less and lesser every single day. Just know that something is wrong and maybe that relationship might not work out because communication is very important in a relationship yeah we shouldn't forget that but for condi still believed the relationship is on so dear friends condi tells us one day the boyfriend was at campus but never looked for her she came to know later after he left and was really hurt had to call him was like you were at campus why didn't you look for me <laughs> but the boyfriend told her condi I was there, yes, but I didn't see you and I was in a hurry. I couldn't look for you. She was so hurt, started crying, tells us, went inside the apartment where she used to share with another roommate and straight went to the bathroom, sat down on the shower floor. <laughs> but <laughs> sitting down, <laughs> the shower floor was dirty because the roommate had enjoyed the goodies <laughs> with the boyfriend and they did not let the water you know to flow so that it can take the dirty away <laughs> oh my god it was so disgusting kept on crying you know about the boyfriend and later the relationship just stopped like that without even telling each other we have broken up no <laughs> there was no communication from both sides and it ended just like that condi kept on with her studies and eventually graduated so when she graduated got a bursary to go further her studies in durban i'll also put the name of the university there where she went in durban but when we talk of her love life Kondi was still heartbroken, had not moved on yet with what the ex-boyfriend did to her because it really affected her so much, even was like doesn't know how it did not affect her studies at all at all because <laughs> everyone could ask where is the boyfriend and she couldn't tell them that they broke up. She could just be like, ah, he got a job. So he is busy with the job. Was very embarrassed to tell them that, you know what? We broke up. So after graduating, then went to further her studies in Durban. Did not date anyone because her heart was still in the past relationship. <laughs> yeah, so started and eventually finished her studies. After finishing her studies, got a job right away with a Canadian company which was dealing with mining, but its head offices were in Johannesburg, whereby the operations were done in the coast of Namibia. So she worked with that Canadian company for two years. After those two years, got a better offer from her home state work in a research ship. But tells us didn't like that much that job because they really had long shifts, 12 to 24 hours shifts in the ship. Also tells us could do 29 days in the ship and 29 days off the ship. So tells us when she was in that diamond ship in Namibia, that is when she met her second boyfriend. This guy was from zimbabwe a zim guy so they dated and after dating for a while she got pregnant that was 2016 yeah and after being pregnant eventually you know got her beautiful baby girl delivered she was so happy even the boyfriend was super super happy they were good good parents but after two years they had a civil breakup so after breaking up with the father of her daughter decided to come home full time from namibia to south africa but still kept her job working in south africa same same job that she was doing she is still there till now so after coming back home in november 2021 unfortunately 
lost her beloved grandmother this really took her so down loved her grandmother very very much cried a lot moaned for her for so long may her soul keep resting in peace amen so during that period it was really the hardest period in Condi's life tells us has this cousin they grew up together so they are very very close they are best friends and the cousin saw how Condi suffered when she lost the grandmother tells us they work in the same company but different departments so past some time they had not seen each other and then came to see each other so when they saw each other the cousin told her next weekend because you are off at work please i invite you at my place Kondi was like, fine, I will come. So they organized and then that day came. Then Kondi went at her cousin's place, you know, for a visit. So when Kondi arrived at her cousin's place, her cousin's boyfriend was there. And then the cousin told her, there is this Netflix movie I want you to watch. Kondi tells us is not a TV person and even if she watches TV, she had a selective programs <laughs> that she watches. For example, mentioned liked this South African program called Mthumzini, something like that. <laughs> I'll write it here <laughs> yeah, so that you guys can get to understand <laughs> the name of that program, especially South Africans. You will know it. So she loved that program plus the documentaries or investigative programs. Yeah, that's her thing. But sitting down and just watch TV, no, <laughs> that wasn't her thing. But the cousin tells her, yeah, you have to watch this Netflix movie. So she wasn't keen in watching the movie the cousin was telling her to watch. <laughs> Until the cousin told her it is based on a true love story. So here, Kondi was like, Bella, guess the movie she was telling me to watch on Netflix. Tinder Swindler. <laughs> you guys that watch Tinder Swindler, you will be smiling right now. <laughs> yeah. But if you have never watched Tinder Swindler, go to Netflix search for it you're going to learn a lot of things especially you guys that are on the dating sites dating apps searching for love so yeah it was tinder swindler condi watched it and tells us that is when she came to know about dating apps <laughs> so after watching it went home and the first thing she did after arriving home downloaded tinder <laughs> Oh my god this lady is very stubborn because i know most of you after watching tinder swindler you wouldn't go on tinder you know to search or download tinder you'd be like no i can't search love there full of scammers because those ladies on tinder swindler were scammed lots lots of money but i remember i think the norwegian lady on tinder swindler <laughs> when she was asked if she would stop using tinder or if she would stop looking for love on the dating sites was like no i am going to keep on until i get what i want i liked her attitude because the problem is not with the dating sites the problem comes with us and the people we meet on the dating sites that is why i'm always telling you guys to be careful observe the red flags you know no one is going to protect you the dating app won't protect you the dating site won't protect you you will be the only one to protect yourself and of course <laughs> bella here with her tips so yeah Cody downloads tinder decided to pay on tinder so that she can use it effectively but also adds that was so skeptical to pay using her bank account what she decided to do opened a new bank account and transferred money there that is how she was able to pay on tinder because <laughs> was like i would rather be the one to swindle that guy <laughs> not that guy swindling my money she's so funny <laughs> so yeah he started searching for love on tinder it was april 2022 so guys condi tells us the first guy to approach her on tinder <laughs> 
His name was Simon. And remember, on Tinder Swindler, that guy, his name was Simon. <laughs> so, when Kundi saw that, I was like, what? So the same Simon has approached me, <laughs> went to scam me too, went and checked the photos that he used, but they were different from the Simon she saw on Tinder Swindler. I was like, mm. but these people changes photos, uses photos of other people. So they kept on chatting and eventually they decided to exchange WhatsApp numbers. After exchanging WhatsApp numbers, the first thing Simon did requested to do a video call. So they did a video call and she confirmed that Simon was real and not the Simon of Tinder Swindler. So she kept on chatting with Simon, but at the same time was chatting with another American guy. Things were going well, but they had not exchanged WhatsApp numbers. And when she saw that things were getting really serious, with Simon, decided to delete Tinder without telling the American guy anything. <laughs> yeah, so the relationship continued on WhatsApp, getting to know each other. So dear friends, this Simon was a German guy, a very cute <laughs> German guy, a juicy one. <laughs> yeah, so they kept on chatting, everything was flowing, and as they were chatting, Connie told him that 4th July is her birthday and simon told her that i wish to come and be with you on your birthday wow <laughs> this guy was really very very determined so they kept on communicating building their relationship they were crazily in love with each other guys and july 1st simon was on the plane to south africa to meet Condi for that first time. Wow, wow, wow. Condi was so happy over the moon. <laughs> Couldn't even believe it. So the day that he was landing in South Africa, Condi had a night shift, was really, really tired. So went home, prepared herself. Actually, he waited for her 30 minutes plus before she arrived at the airport because tells us was living in Greenpoint. South Africans, you will know this place. Left Greenpoint, went to the airport, eventually arrived, saw him, they hugged, kissed, were really happy to finally meet each other. And after the airport, they headed to her place in green point so after arriving at her place oh my god he had brought lots of gifts for her chocolates perfumes <laughs> earrings she was so happy it was the best day of her life tells us so after the gifts and everything <laughs> you know what is following the goodies <laughs> he had told us they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait at all at all. They had to enjoy the goodies and it went super, super good. So was telling me, Bella, at the university, we had this perception that white guys have small eggplants. <laughs> but me meeting with my German boyfriend and we enjoyed the goodies. <laughs> Oh goodness, I was so surprised. <laughs> we were wrong. <laughs> that way, guys have small eggplants. Yeah. So, after enjoying the goodies, they left her place because she had ordered some things online for her business. Tells us has got small business, like a side hustle. So, they had went to pick the things she ordered. She had to package them, then send to her clients. After doing all that, they returned to her place. And again, they enjoyed the goodies <laughs> for the second time that same, same day. <laughs> Wow, it was so, so good. So he was staying at her place in Greenpoint, but he had also booked for a vacation for them from 4th July till 7th of July in Hermanus. South Africans, you will know Hermanus. For me, I don't know the place. Yeah, so he booked a vacation there so that they can enjoy her birthday together. Because remember, her birthday was on 5th, july and he landed 
first of july just for her birthday and to meet her in person so yeah time came they drove to her manus. they were very happy oh my god it's like she was in a dream <laughs> finding that cute guy that truly loves her he has traveled all that far just to meet her <laughs> yeah and i can feel her sometimes it's like you are dreaming because the other time you were single no one with lots of heartbreaks then after a few months you are happy <laughs> enjoying the love life so after their vacation they went back to her place kept on enjoying good times together tells us it was the best time of her life yeah he stayed for two weeks and after those two weeks had to go back to his country so with the introduction thing he introduced her to his parents when he returned back to germany that is when condi got to meet his parents and step parents so i'll be putting the photos here of when they met for that first time though covering their faces yeah for some reasons <laughs> so when he went back to germany eventually returned back to work because this german guy his profession was a teacher yeah he was a teacher but not in germany in different countries all around the world but at the time he met condi was working in egypt cairo yeah so he returned to work their relationship continued they kept on talking building their relationship everything was going on mwah, very very well then christmas came 2022 remember the last time they met it was in july 2022 so when christmas time came he had to travel from cairo to south africa so that he can spend christmas time with the love of his life condi was very very happy and tells us they were really both in love so they passed christmas together sent the year and then welcomed the new year 2023 together so i have a word for my single ladies who are still searching you are dating a guy and then maybe christmas comes it's the time to see if this guy really cares about you some might not be able to travel come be with you but will he be there for you even on the phone calling you on a video call maybe introducing you to the family wishing you a happy christmas like you should feel you are part of his family you are part of his life but if you're dating a guy and then christmas is here he is not even talking to you doesn't want to do even a video call be like hi honey happy christmas you know i'm with my family because i told you europeans care so much christmas christmas time is family time so he will be with his family but if you see he is with the family is hiding <laughs> is sending only one message in a day or even you don't receive a single message from him and it's christmas just know that that guy does not give a damn shit about you <laughs> this is the truth and we can see a very good good example of this german guy he had his family yes but at that time he was so much in love with condi considered condi as part of his life that is why he was like no this christmas period let me be with my girlfriend he came for her so observe that and not only christmas even easter period observe these guys that you guys are chatting to how they are behaving especially when it comes to communication during that time a guy with a wife he will disappear a guy with a girlfriend he will disappear a guy that doesn't want the family to know about you he will disappear during that period so let's continue with condi's love story so yes they stayed together and after the holidays he had to go back to work but they had agreed for condi to apply for a schengen visa to germany so that he can get to meet his parents and also get to meet him his friends you know yeah which is good i told you the guy is coming in your country to meet you then what 
what is the next plan? Where is the concrete plan of this relationship? <laughs> Don't allow him to come take the goodies. And after that, <laughs> he doesn't have any concrete plan for your relationship. So Condi and this German guy, they had a concrete plan. And in February, that is when Condi started her visa process that tells us they faced some challenges while applying for the visa because her boyfriend was not living in Germany. He was working in Cairo. Yeah, he wasn't staying there for so long. He could go to Germany, then go back to Cairo. So they told her, because he does not stay in Germany, he cannot invite you. We want someone who is there in Germany to be the one to invite you. And that is when Condi's boyfriend's mother stepped in was like i'll be the one to send you my documents and invite you here and she did guys sent her documents also sent her a hundred euros for the visa process she was so so happy and yeah got her schengen visa to germany so in april 16th flew to germany was so so happy after arriving at the airport they had agreed with a boyfriend to be there too so he was flying from cairo to frankfurt but was supposed to arrive earlier than condi so when she arrived couldn't see the boyfriend and was there wondering where is this guy and tried to call him and tells us there was a network glitch so the messages the calls were not going through tried to connect with the airport wi-fi but still they were not going through and she was not seeing the boyfriend oh my god started getting frustrated angry and was like almost booked a flight back to south africa <laughs> Then after 40 minutes plus, that is when she saw the boyfriend. <laughs> after seeing him, was so happy, they hugged, kissed, forgot, wanted to book a flight back home. <laughs> so after kissing, hugging, they went to a place where his stepdad was because he came to pick them there. And after meeting the stepdad, they greeted, then headed to their place. So Condi tells us there was three hours drive from the airport to the place where they lived. They lived in the city called Archen. You guys in Germany, you will know this city and let me hope I pronounce it well. <laughs> yeah, so they drove three hours, then arrived after arriving found that his mother had prepared a very delicious meal. Oh my God, they welcomed her very well. His sister was there and his sister's husband, the brother-in-law to the boyfriend. They greeted her, hugged her. So after the greetings, they sat down and ate that delicious food that his mother had prepared. She felt really, really good and happy. So after eating, she had a shower and then went to sleep. So as she was really, really tired and it was kind of cold. So when she went to sleep, sneezed all night long <laughs> to an extent midnight. The mother-in-law had to wake up and gave her her big warm gown and also prepared a cold concussion for her to take. She drank it and then slept in the morning she gave her lots lots of her warm clothes the jackets the boots only that the boots couldn't fit her toes as she has got big feet <laughs> most africans by the way me too <laughs> yeah so the boots were not fitting but other clothes yeah it was fine oh my god that mother-in-law was the best so guys her stay in germany was three weeks and as she was still in germany one weekend the boyfriend tells her that they should go to meet his friends and she was so happy but they are going in a different city from where they lived 
This city is called Klon. So they planned to go there, stay there for the whole weekend, enjoy time with his friends. And that's what they did. They traveled, went to Klon. After arriving in Klon, met his friends and then went to one of his friends' house. That is where they were going to stay. So after that, they went out and decided to go to a nightclub, you know, <laughs> and dance a bit. So they went to the nightclub and here comes Afro Cinema. <laughs> so she tells us when they entered that nightclub, there was some music, but it was kind of boring to her. <laughs> so she decided to go approach the DJ and be like, can you please play Brenda Farsi music? <laughs> the DJ didn't know who is Brenda Farsi. <laughs> So give the laptop to Condi so that she can search Brenda Fassi and select it so that he can play Brenda Fassi's music. And that's what she did. Then the DJ started playing Brenda Fassi. The boyfriend was on the dance floor, but after, you know, South African music started playing, he didn't like the music, had to go and sit. But his friends kept on dancing and Condi had to dance with one of his friends. They danced, they danced till the friend got tired. Condi says she was dancing like there is no tomorrow. <laughs> So the friend got tired and went to sit. So what happened? South African music continues. Tells us after Brenda Fassi started playing other South African music, they started dancing this old dance called Kwela Kwela. And on the floor came in South Africans that were in that club. They started dancing and because the boyfriend's friend was tired, went to sit. Condi started dancing with another South African guy that she met on the dance floor. Oh my God, the boyfriend was so angry, didn't like it, but Condi kept on dancing till the end. They returned home 4 a.m. <laughs> in the morning and in the car going back home, they were still fighting because the boyfriend was like, why did you dance with a stranger? Cody tells the boyfriend, the South African guy isn't a stranger. A stranger is your friend. <laughs> oh my goodness. He was super, super angry. Never wanted to talk to her. Then they go home. He's still angry. They prepare for breakfast. Still angry. So I'm going to pause here and tell you something. The reason why when I started this video, I was like, you guys been praying for that good guy, for a husband material, for the juicy guy. <laughs> God brings the guy. Do you know how to keep him? And one way of knowing how to keep the guy, it's not that maybe you should give the goodies good, good. <laughs> Or you should wear makeup because some people think, oh, I should wear makeup. Oh, I should be slim. I should be that. You can't keep a guy like that, especially you guys that are interested in an interracial relationship. You first need to study how are the guys in his country. It's so important. It will help you in your relationship. How to handle some situations. Yes, we say all men are the same. It doesn't matter the color. But every country, there is a way they do things. When it comes to culture, traditions, and everything. That is why I did videos on how to date men from different countries. Guys, I'll be coming with other countries. Don't worry. Your girl has a lot on the table. I've not forgotten you. I will be coming back. Because I know those videos are very, very important. So back to Condi. One thing I know, even when I did a video on how are German guys, I told you I did my own research. Only that I got some comments, people saying, oh, that is a hereby. <laughs> it's not a hereby because I talk to real people. I don't go on the internet and start searching. No, I talk to real people, people that have been in Germany for 30 years, German themselves. Yeah, to get to understand before I bring the content here, because it is not all about the click. But is that information valid? <laughs> Will it help you? Yeah. So one thing I know about German guys, they don't trust people easily. 
it's so hard very very hard for a german guy to trust someone that is why you will see them they have friends but those friends they grew up together it's hard like to find a german guy with a friend that he just met in adulthood yes exist but maybe at the workplace <laughs> <laughs> not on the dance floor not at all so him saying the guy on the dance floor the south african no matter he was south african no matter he was fellow german this guy was going to still tell her he is a stranger because he does not know him you don't just go and dance with a stranger in africa it's so normal we make friends very easily <laughs> you meet someone after a few months that person is your best friend <laughs> but you just met recently you don't even know that person well well but he is your best friend the african way but when we talk of european guys german guys <laughs> it's hard and it's not even only german guys <laughs> even italian guys for example my husband italians yes they are so warm they talk to everyone you meet them on the streets and you talk something that i heard in germany it's not there <laughs> you can have neighbors and you don't even know each other you don't greet each other and all that it's very possible in germany i'm not saying every german is like that but most it's like that so for example my own husband he has got very few friends and if you look at those friends either they grew up together they studied together or worked together the people that he meets outside that they will never be his friend they'll always be strangers to him that is how things are guys study a guy you are dating if you come to find out he is a serious guy get to understand better how things are done in his country for me i told condi if that german guy <laughs> was an italian guy he was going to leave you at the club right away without even talking to you but if you meet that violent one he was going to follow you on the dance floor and even slap you yeah in front of everyone <laughs> i spend all my money i invite you to my country <laughs> and then you come to dance with a stranger who does that <laughs> yeah he was going to tell her that because that's how things are but unfortunately condi didn't have any idea of how things are done in germany of how are german guys that is why it was strange for her for the boyfriend to call the south african guy a stranger whereby for her a south african guy is a brother you know <laughs> A brother from my own country <laughs> i even trust him that i can trust your friend <laughs> but for white guys it's not like that yeah so yeah after breakfast they had to talk and talk eventually he forgave her even when together to his grandmother's birthday she was making 90 years after arriving there they were welcomed very well met some other family members even the grandmother took time to talk to both of them gave them words of encouragement also gifted her her precious necklace that necklace was given by her late husband when they were still dating wow she was really happy to have met the boyfriend and even the grandmother and the whole family how they were so kind and caring towards her so after the birthday they returned home and then condi tells us one day when she was still around before returning to south africa the mother-in-law the mother to the boyfriend invites her on a lunch date a lunch date for only two of them so they go out she does shopping for her and her daughter buys school bag and other gifts after that they go for their lunch date they eat and when they finished eating she talked to her gave her some encouraging words very loving words that melted her heart added that you and your daughter will always have a space at my home you are welcome she really felt accepted her and her daughter and because the words moved her she cried when she was crying she wiped her tears kissed her 
and hugged her. Oh my god, this is so sweet to hear. What a loving mother. So guys, Condi stayed in Germany, enjoyed her time, but three weeks were over. She had to go back to South Africa. So what the mother-in-law did, booked for a hotel for four of them. Remember guys, it's three hours drive from Achen, Ochen, <laughs> to the airport in Frankfurt. Yeah, so that is why the mother-in-law had to book for a hotel near the airport and they went a day before in the evening. So after arriving in Frankfurt, they go for dinner and after dinner, Kondi had to talk to the parents, like thanking them for their hospitality, for the good things they have done for her, for the time she has been with them. They were happy, you know, told her welcome, they hugged, and then headed to the hotel to sleep because her flight was the next day, early in the morning, 9 a.m. So she woke up very early, you know, took her breakfast, and after taking her breakfast, went to say goodbye to parents they say goodbye to her even the mother-in-law gave her 300 dollars to spend in doha yeah so she was so happy and even told her something that she didn't know that there is no need to change the dollars when you are in doha if you want to buy something you can still buy it with the money that you have the dollars she was so happy appreciated and yeah had to go to the airport so after arriving at the airport the boyfriend helped her you know to check in and everything then she had to go through the gate oh my god as she was going through the gate cried so so much said goodbye to the boyfriend it hurts i've been there <laughs> that moment is the hardest moment because lots of things you know runs into your head will i see him again i hope he won't change he will keep loving me will i eventually like move and start living with him like end all this thing a lot a lot of things guys that makes you even cry the more but it's the reality of the long distance relationship you can't do anything so yeah eventually she traveled back home to south africa and that same same day the boyfriend went back to the hotel in the afternoon had a flight to cairo to go back to work so dear friends when she went back to south africa their relationship did not stop it continued everything was going on smoothly she could communicate with the mother-in-law because now they know each other they have met in real life so she was at peace but guys you're going to forgive me i have to stop here today <laughs> due to the flu that i have i've sneezed so much throughout the video <laughs> but it's not the only reason the love story is still long 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 so i won't be able to end it today but i promise you next time when you see me here it will be the last part the part two of condi's love story which will help you learn a lot. We still have more Afro cinemas to learn from. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video till now. God bless you for your love and your support. I don't take it for granted, guys. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. You're going to enjoy a lot and learn lots, lots of new things. Yeah. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. But if you haven't subscribed, can I ask you a question? What are you still waiting for? <laughs> join the family by subscribing and thank you so much guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao